I'm Dan Papela, your headless host, and I'm going to be uh, going through the chord progression to the girl from Ipanema with you right now. So uh, print out or pull up on your computer that PDF file that says lead sheet, and what you're going to see is a typical lead sheet, and I'll go through this, and maybe you can follow along without playing your guitar, just to... Uh, answer hopefully this will answer any questions that you have about this particular um, chord progression so um, and one thing that happens with this if you if you notice up there at letter a that's where the melody starts if you were playing a gig um, nine times out of ten you're gonna have some kind of an intro one of the most basic ones is like an F major just move it up a half step. So uh, this is an F major seventh I'm holding and just sliding it up a half step to an F sharp major seventh. Sometimes this gets played as a an F major then it goes up to like a, an F sharp which is also a G flat. It's an N harmonic uh, chord uh, G sharp, I mean uh, G flat and F sharp. In any case, so this is our intro. Let's do the dominant chord. We'll go like. So I added a little rhythm to it there. One of the most common things that I find when I work with people is that they'll get the fingerings down through a whole uh, piece of music or something and they won't um, focus on the rhythm it's essential for you to get the rhythm down what I typically do if I'm working on a tune I'll take a little section of it and I'll keep going over it and uh, over it and over it so till I can play it in rhythm so I might even take like this intro that we're doing right now and Go over it and go over it till I've got a. I can make the change from one chord to the next chord in time. So let's look at that for just a second. We're going to go the F major to the F sharp uh, dominant. So like. you can do that it doesn't have to be that tempo we could go slow like so uh, that's probably a, a better tempo temp, tempo to work on this thing so let's look at, at letter a it says F major it's got the little triangle there are a number of different nomenclatures that you run into the triangle means major. Sometimes you'll see F with the M A J um, behind it. Um, and I talked about this in the audio file that's also right there above the video. Um, anyway, so let's look at this. We're going to play F major for two bars, like in rhythm. flat 7 and here's our G flat 7 dominant so that's the first eight bars and like I was explaining earlier before we go any farther let's get this to where we can play this in time like there's our G minor to our G flat 7 That's the first eight bars. The structure of this song is what we call A-A-B-A. -A -A. Those, um, at the end of the first eight bars, there's a repeat sign, so you go back to letter A, and then you come down and do the second ending. Um, the second time down, it's identical, except for the last bar, where you just stay on the F. So the second time, it would be like... Here's a little pet. 
passing chord. There's another one. That time I stayed on the F um, because that sets you up to go into the bridge. Um, so that's the first 16 bars. Um, and we're going to talk about the chord voicings and all of that in the next video. Let's look at the uh, bridge. We're going to go. So uh, when we re just resolved, we went. And that's the second uh, ending right there, standing on the F. And then we move up a half step. And then there's a B7. our F sharp minor which is also a G flat minor A minor they have a D in the bass but um, it's not that critical and then we're going to do a G minor B flat minor to E7 A flat A minor to D7 to G minor to D C7 so now let's try the, we're going to try like the last two bars, the letter A, and play through the bridge in time. So that would be like, here's letter B. the chord progression and at the end there I, I was vamping on our intro that we came up with the F major to the G flat dominant I was playing a 13 like an F major 7 to a G flat 13 and if I want to drop the 13 down to the 7th I can go like that so the bridge take that section of the song and work that up in time too like That's a B7 sus I'm playing there. I can throw a little chromatic in there. Another chromatic here. note there as well so when you're playing the nylon string guitar and in this particular case we're playing chords that have the root on the sixth string you can hit the root and then pluck the chord something you can work on while you're working on your rhythm again spend a lot of time getting the rhythm down because if you get the rhythm down that's going to enable you to get in situations to perform with other musicians um, so that's probably the most critical thing I can think of um, in any case that's gonna do it for this video so there's the chord structure 
um, the next video, I'll go through the specific voicings and, and give you some ideas on chord movement. Thank you very much.